Greetings teachers, this is Sean Mussman with the Burlington Science Center and I want to show you a quick step-by-step -step demonstration of how to have your students create really nice magnetic fields that they'll actually be able to keep uh, and hold on to uh, during your magnetism unit. Uh, <clears throat> what we have here, and my assistant Jim can, can show, um, in your kits you're going to get um, a container or two of iron magnetic filings along with a class set of some small cups whether they look like this or little Dixie cups. Uh, not every student is going to get a cup's worth of this. Uh, what you'll actually want to do is that before the class begins or during the class have kids come up and you're going to want to put just enough iron filings in their cup to sort of you know uh, fill the bottom space of it. Is that too big or um, <clears throat> this is really going to be, be all that they need to create a really nice magnetic field. Right? The other stuff you're going to need is a bar magnet, uh, maybe smaller than this, but this is just fine size, blank sheet of white paper, and some hairspray or other uh, light uh, aerosol adhesive. What we're going to do is, before we, we really get to making a permanent magnetic field, we want the kids to practice making this because it can be a little bit tricky. What you'll want to do is have students put a bar magnet down on the table and then their blank sheet of paper on top of that bar magnet. Try to have them put the bar magnet in the middle. Right. Then you'll either hand out to them, they'll get their little cup of magnetic filings, and they can either dust right from the cup or they can put in their hand. I found that sometimes uh, in the hand kids do a little better job. If it's in the cup and they push a little too much, it dumps all over and you don't get an even, even magnetic field. Whereas with your hands, your hands have some natural creases in them that allow some of the iron fillings to fall out. And though it makes their hands dirty and they'll have to wash them at the end of the uh, session, uh, it might make for a better magnetic field. So, once we've got the paper on the table, and our iron filings in hand, our filings, excuse me, we're going to just gently dust along the magnetic bar. And what's important here is that you'll want the kids to kind of go all the way around the outside of the magnetic bar. The inside of the magnetic bar is not going to be of much interest in terms of what we can see of the magnetic field. We want to see that outside around the bar. So the more you can have them dust that section, the better. Now of course this takes a little bit of some fine motor skills here and the kids might struggle with this initially. Um, if theirs doesn't come out perfect the first time, that's no big deal. Um, what you can have them simply do is crease the paper, all right, like we've got here. You can crease the paper, all right, say they got a big splotch like that. Just have them crease the paper, have them pour it back in, and try a second run, okay? So again, we'll do it, and this time I'll just, I'll try to use the paper real quick. See, that might not come out so well. All right, so we're gonna just try that again. So again, in the hand, magnetic field in place, you can help out or you can have them do this. You take this hairspray, for example, and from a small distance, because you don't want to ruin the magnetic field that's been made, small distance away, just give it a little spray down, and let it sit and dry for a few minutes. This stuff will adhere the metal filings uh, in the direction that they're currently oriented on the paper, and if you 
want to further permanent, uh, you know, add permanence to this, you can certainly add a little more to this, or even better, laminate it. But kids are going to come away with really nice magnetic fields. Let's talk scientifically about what our students have made here. Uh, this is a typical bar magnet, uh, magnetic field with the metal shavings. Uh, you can see on this, the center here that the metal shavings appear to sort of create these arcs. Um, and that's the magme magnetic field at work. Um, the magnetic field is strongest here at the poles. Um, <clears throat> and what, what we can't see here uh, very easily is that these magnetic fields go out and they extend off these poles. Um, and what they're actually doing is they're actually wrapping out and around back on top of one another. So we have these magnetic fields reaching out further and further. And you know you can see that you know at the center of the magnet those are you know small reaching magnetic fields. But as you get further away, the magnetic field, the arc gets longer. And then yeah, once you get away from the magnet, they actually extend out into space. Uh, further and further. Um, so we do have two poles, north and south, of course. And uh, this is a good good opportunity to also talk a little bit about how our Earth uh, behaves a bit like a, mar a bar magnet. Uh, what we see here is a diagram of our Earth. Now our Earth has an, a uh, metallic iron and some nickel uh, core uh, at, at its interior. And the outer core, uh, as we uh, describe it, is actually liquid. So it's in flux, it's moving, and it creates this magnetic field that we experience on Earth. Um, so what we see here is a little bit like an Earth, like a bar magnet. At the, at the North Pole, we see those, the magnetic field coming out off the nat, uh, North Pole, uh, extending out into space. Um, the South Pole, same thing. And if we look even closer, you know, we can see that those... Um, those magnetic fields actually follow the curvature of the Earth. And that's really what's happening uh, to a compass. Uh, when you're standing on the Earth's surface, it's getting in line with these magnetic fields, and they're pointing those needles northward uh, <clears throat> when you're in the northern hemisphere. And, of course, the southern uh, pole of those needles are going to point southward um, you know, no matter where you are, the northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere, because they align with the magnetic field that's formed by the uh, motion of that liquid outer core. So that's it. You can always email me, muscleman at bpsk12.org, if you have questions, uh, or call us here at extension 1835. Have a great day.